Pierre was thin and frigid as Sir Edmund Hillary and Denzig Norgay pressed onward towards the summit of Mount Everest. The snow crunched under their boots, and their breaths came in ragged gasps as they climbed higher and higher, the altitude taking its toll on their bodies. The wind howled around them, whipping up flurries of snow that stung their faces and made it hard to see. As they climbed, they passed rocky outcroppings and sheer cliffs, their hands and feet finding purchase on the rough surface of the mountain. They paused occasionally to catch their breath and take in the view. The landscape below was a sea of white, with peaks and valleys stretching out as far as the eye could see. The smell of the cold, crisp air filled their nostrils. They could taste the metallic tang of their own sweat on their tongue. The sound of their breathing and the crunching of the snow under their feet were the only noises in this desolate landscape. Finally, after hours of climbing, they reached the summit, the top of Mount Everest. And the view from the top was breathtaking. A panorama of snow-capped peaks and valleys stretched out as far as the eye could see. They stood there for a few moments, taking in the beauty of the world below before realizing they were cold. It was time to start heading back down. The climb up Mount Everest is very dangerous, and it's a challenging feat, with only a small percentage of those who attempted actually reaching the summit. As of 2021, there have been over 10,000 successful ascents to the summit of Mount Everest, but also 300 deaths. The harsh climate, the high altitude, the unpredictable weather make it one of the most dangerous mountains in the entire world. These are interesting things with J.C.,